Hello and welcome to the show, supported by Media Proxy. Today we're continuing our series of open gear discussions and are delighted to welcome Susanna Brady from Cobalt Digital. Hi Susanna, welcome to the show. Hello, uh, thanks for having us. It's a pleasure. Now, Susanna, we tend to catch up with you at NAB each year, which obviously, despite everyone's best efforts, is not to be uh, this time. Um, now, before we, we delve into the new and exciting products that you would have been showing everybody, for those that may not have come across Cobalt Digital in the past, give us a quick overview of what you do. Sure. Uh, Cobalt Digital was uh, founded um, 24 years ago in 1997. We're going to have our 25th anniversary next year, so we're uh, excited about it. Um, we were founded and was still based in Champaign, Illinois, in the United States. Um, we were one of the two founders. We were one of the founders of Open Gear, along with Ross Video. So some people don't know that. Uh, we're, we're the only other company besides Ross mm. um, manufacture our own Open Gear frames, branded uh, Cobalt Digital. Uh, so we're very excited to to have been part of this mm. since the very beginning. And we have dozens and dozens of open gear based products. Um, today we design and manufacture pretty much edge devices for live video production and master control that support any, anywhere from 3 gig to 4K, IP, HDR, um, wow. all, all the, all the fun stuff out there. Um, we also one of the founders of the RIST consortium. RIST stands for Reliable Internet Stream Transport. And I can talk about it more once I get to one of the products here. We're very active participant on RIST. Um, and today we pretty much serve the broadcasters, the mobile production trucks, uh, sports venues, governments, corporate education, medical. We are in, um, always expanding into new markets with all the, the wide, um, mm. Um, broad product line that we have. So, and um, of course, the the highlight is that we really believe in scalable, space efficient, flexible, cost effective um, approach to terminal equipment. And this is why um, you know um, the open gear form factor is such a good fit for for what we do. Fantastic everywhere, and actually, that's very interesting because I, for one, was another one of those people that didn't realize that you were a founding member of the Open Gear project, so to speak. So yeah, interesting, good stuff. Mm. Now, you, what you were, what would you have been showing had we met up at NAB? Let's go through some product announcements that you would have you would have given us. Sure, uh, we had been planning all kinds of uh, interesting announcements for NAB. Uh, so unfortunately, here we are. You know, going to Plan B and doing all virtually, yeah. which is which is also great. Uh, one of the first things we're announcing was our RIST main profile security option. Um, RIST, as I said before, is this uh, uh, reliable internet stream transport group. Um, they, they come up with specifications uh, for low latency uh, distribution over the internet. Um, the, one of the first specifications was called simple profile. Uh, the set, second set of specifications that came out last year was named the main profile, and that includes um, stream encryption and security um, standards. So we were able to build in the encryption and authentication to the Cobalt compression line. Both all our encoders and decoders now offer this feature, and it, which really allows broadcasters to protect their content uh, without having to have all the separate security devices. So it's, um, it's a built-in feature. Um, for the compression line, and um, we're excited to announce that we've, we've got that, that ready now um, on, on our products. So um, on the on the on the on the wrist itself, um, we know that video contribution over the internet has been a reality for a long time, maybe ten years. Um, but, um, yeah. with, with security, yeah, security and encryption now, I mean, certainly it allows, uh, broadcasters to save on OPEX by using, you know, existing internet connections instead of all the costly dedicated lines. However, using the internet, um, as a studio to studio link or um, as a contribution link has its security, uh, implications. So, yeah, of course. um, yeah. The content being out there and traveling through all this other equipment that's not under the broadcaster's control, um, 
you know, is an issue, has always been an issue. So we, d we decided with the Rist uh, group to solve this, this market need and, and uh, add um, security um, to satisfy the, mm. you know, content owner requirements. So, so Susanna, when, when people um, might not need a, a dense full rack of, say, 20 cards, is there, is there like an alternative cut down version they can go for? Uh, actually, we do. We, um, Cobalt, uh, I believe we're the only Open Gear um, partner that offers a um, uh, compatible enclosure. Uh, so basically, we offer an enclosure where we can fit up to two Open Gear cards. So instead of having a two rack unit with 20 cards, you can have just a small enclosure, which is the size of a third of a rack unit. So you essentially can put three of these enclosures uh, next to each other on a tray and have two cards per enclosure. So all of a sudden you have six cards on a one rack you on gear compatible frame as opposed to having a two rack unit with all 20 cards. So that's uh, uh, unique to Cobalt and uh, it, it comes with dual power supplies and, and, all, you know, and all the other advantages, uh, support to dashboard and everything else, just like an open gear traditional frame, but instead it allows you to carry two cards instead of 20. So that, that was a good question. Thank you. Yeah. And this uh, actually going back to the wrist thing, you know, that is uh, probably directed at your bigger broadcaster, but it's also going to be very important for your smaller broadcaster with less, um, you know, less cards, um, uh, you know, what the, less density requirement, but that wrist solution, is that unique to you guys as well? Yeah, that um, that's um, the, the the risk basically um, distributes and shares the specifications, and we went and we took uh, the specs and uh, develop our own our own solution based on that. The specs are available; uh, it, it's open to the market. That's 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 the way we like it. Uh, but um, the, yeah, the solution is is uh, very specific to Cobalt, and I don't know, I haven't heard that any other manufacturer is providing um, the exact um, yeah. same type of security um, and authentication both at the same time in an open gear card yet. I haven't heard the, the wrist uh, in type of encryption basically uses a strong crypto with industry vetted method methods uh, based on the VSF TR06, which is the specifications that the VSF puts out, which is based on DTLS. And um, I don't. I don't think anyone has uh, done this deployment yet. Just um, I think it's just Cobalt right now. Now we we've heard that you were about to release a new twenty one ten product at NAB. Um, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, we um, one of our big announcements was our new Open Gear based Indigo ST twenty one ten. The the product is a highly integrated. ST2110 factory option, basically, uh, that adds native SMT2110 support to Cobalt's existing, uh, a couple of our existing cards, our uh, main popular cards. The, these are the 9904 UDX, 4K, and the 9905 MPX, which is our multipath. It supports up to uh, 3G signals. And the 9904 UDX, it goes all the way up to 4K. So the um, Indigo includes multiple 25 uh, gig Ethernet interfaces, um, basically to support uncompressed 4K. Um, the, um, the advanced features of the 9904 and 9905 that have been on the market for a while, uh, which include up and down cross conversion, audio routing, color correction, 3D lit processing, the 9904 also. Uh, has support for advanced HDR, HDR by techn Technicolor. So now we have all those features combined with the new 2110 option. Um, so it really, um, now the door is open basically for the advanced processing in these cards to be available also with IP inputs and outputs, um, eliminating the need for any you know external gateways. Mm. It's a much simpler yeah. way of doing it. Mm. So you're always going to be developing new products. You're always be developing new open gear cards, I'm sure. Um, please tell me that maybe we can come and see at IBC or, 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 or you know, if, if you're going to be there, are there going to be any new announcements for that coming up in the future? 
Yes. Yeah, we actually have uh, the sales and marketing team has weekly meetings with engineering because there's always news, like pretty much almost on a weekly basis yeah. between upgrades and features and uh, new products or new spin-offs of existing products. So um, we we have other uh, interesting things uh, planned for IBC. So far, uh, we're planning to be there. We're planning to, um, we have a, a nice booth at, at a nice location. We're finishing the final touch-ups for the show and uh, hopefully it's going to go on and we're going to be able to see our friends and colleagues and customers at, um, yeah. you know, IBC this December. Excellent. Fab. Thank you very much, Susanna. And you can find out um, everything that Susanna has been talking about and loads more, I'm sure, at coboltdigital.com. Mm. And don't forget, this website. is just one of our lineup of Open Gear interviews. So watch out for the rest coming up soon from a number of key Open Gear partners. Thanks to Media Proxy for their support, Kid Plus TV. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us.